I'm Evan Netch. I'm here today and we're going to break down how to do a shove it or more specifically a 360 shove it. So let's get into it. Thanks for tuning in. We're here to help everyone improve their strapless surfboard riding and today we're gonna to break down the shove it. If you haven't already checked out our videos on how to do a regular strapless air, check out that video as before you start doing a shove it and doing different board spins and rotations, it's great to have a really good grasp on how to do your straightforward basic strapless airs, controlling the board with the wind underneath the board. For everyone who's ready for that next step in progression, here is the strapless 360 shove it. So the shove it for me has been a really, a really cool trick and it's, it's, it's a basic trick that I've enjoyed applying to other um, tricks as well. I, you can do it on a wave, you can maybe do a front roll and do the shove it afterwards, but the simple shove it is something that feels really good and um, I've seen a lot of people do them differently in, in a variety of styles and it's one of those that I just do every session because I really just purely enjoy it. So doing, doing a shove it or a 360 shove it, there's a couple different ways. You can do a front side shove it, or you can spin the board backside. I really like doing a backside shove it where you spin the tail of the board into the wind. The, the key, the overall key in the shove it is you don't want to just send the board spinning. You, you want to keep your front foot planted on the board. That way you, you keep a degree of control and you're always keeping the bottom of the board into the wind. So if it's very windy, it can actually be harder to do it. The, the wind gets under the board more, it's harder to keep control. And of course, if the wind's very light, Sometimes it can be harder to break free from the water. So it is one of those tricks that I find to be significantly easier just on a very average 12 or maybe 10 meter day. Not super windy, but, but not super light either. First, you, you don't want to go super high. You want to go just high enough to clear the fins from the water, but doing a higher shove it is significantly harder than doing a low one. One, you have to spin the board slower because you want it to kind of reconnect with the water when it's done that rotation. So controlling the board in a much slower, longer rotation is of, is of course harder. So doing a shove it a little bit lower can, can, can be a bit easier. So try to keep the kite nice and steady. If you send the kite like you're doing a jump or do any big movement, you're gonna get pulled pretty hard and, and you don't want that to, that to happen. So I try to keep the kite pretty high and I'm usually, I'm usually sheeted out. And as I initiate it, I'll find a little chop or some piece of something to, to bounce off of. I'll just sheet in a little bit to create that lift that I need and push off the water with, with my back foot and as I sheet in on the bar, I'll just keep pressure on my front hand. My back hand will kind of come off the bar to help me balance. And it also makes sure the kite goes down from where it started and not up. Because as I break free from the water, I want my momentum and my weight going down. I don't want to get lifted off the board. So the kite should be kind of falling the whole time you're doing that shove it, starting high and ending a little bit lower. So this helps with control. It also keeps, keeps help that, um, forward, that forward momentum. So as I push off the water, I want to push off the water and I don't edge really hard. If you edge really hard into the wind, that's that much more of a rotation you need to do. And then of course, if you're going too far downwind, you can't get the pop you need. So I just kind of go pretty, pretty flat across the wind, not, not aggressive into the wind, but I edge up just a bit, pop off the water, pop off with your back foot, and I really almost push my back foot behind me. I feel like I'm just sweeping my toes out, you know, out from under me. I try to keep my front foot planted on the board, and as I push the tail of that board around, I try to push it around and I almost push the tail up and pushing the tail up keeps the wind going on the bottom of the board where you push the tail down or flat, wind can more easily get on the deck of the board which blows it out from underneath your feet. So I push the tail back and up and as the board spins around in front of me, I try to keep my front foot planted on, on that board, keeping a degree of control, moving forward as I'm, that forward momentum is kind of helping me stay with the board as well. And as that tail comes around and that tail connects with the water, your back foot falls right back down into place. Hopefully your, hopefully your kite's in front of you and you can keep your momentum and, and riding. So it's really just keeping control. I still have some very bad ones where the kind of board goes flying out like crazy. If the board kind of does go flying away or if last minute flips, I'll really try to sheet in or give myself a boost of power. That way I kind of get pulled away from my board, not to land on the fins. Um, but certainly the, the goal is keeping control, nice steady movement, pushing your back foot out and keeping your front foot planted so the board almost spins around your front foot, almost like someone's spinning a pizza on, on their fingertip. So the board comes around, tail comes high, and the tail comes back down and connects with the water as you step back down on the board. 
sheet in and then hopefully you uh, ride away nice and clean and off, off for a second one. Um, so for, for, more, for more trick tips, for more ways to progress your riding, check out our YouTube channel, much more videos to come, or you take a step back and you can see some more basic riding techniques from strapless airs to footwork, whatever it might be. We're covering everything strapless to help you progress your riding. Thanks so much for watching.